Hi everybody! To make the most of the last tutorial, which was about jumping and gravity, today we're gonna create the Chrome Dino game. So if you're ready, let's get started. <laughs> Let's begin downloading the most important sprite. So let's Google Chrome Dino PNG. And here in freepng.s, you can easily download it. You click here. I'm not a robot. And download. I already have it, so I'm gonna cancel. And here in Scratch, Let's upload Sprite. So here it is, we can get rid of it. And now let's modify the costumes. With the eraser, let's erase all these lines. And now we're gonna create uh, more costumes. We need four to create the, the movement of the dinosaur. So the first costume is gonna be this one, the second is gonna be this, so uh, we're going to move it up, maybe even this, that way, the second, uh, again with both legs on the, on the ground, and the third one with, with this leg raised. So, uh, we have this. Okay, so, well, let's change size to 40, for example. Let's... Uh, oops, mistake. Let's modify the backdrop, uh, for example, with a gray line, like this one. The dinosaur will be here. And now let's code it. Uh, I recommend that you watch the previous video if you haven't done it yet, which is about gravity um, and jumping, which is what I'm gonna do now. So, uh, as we did last day, first of all, let's create a variable, which is gonna be y velocity. And when green flag clicked, we're gonna set y velocity to uh, zero. And forever, we're going to do this. <clears throat> if the dinosaur is touching the ground, we're going to set Y velocity to zero. Uh, in the last tutorial, we created Sprite, which was the ground, but we're not going to do that now. Uh, instead, we're going to, to do it according to the vertical position. So, uh, now the dinosaur is in uh, Y negative 31. So, if uh, this one, y position is lower than negative uh, 31, we're going to set y velocity to 0, and if not, we're going to change y velocity by 1. And as we did, we're going to change y by y velocity. This is all explained in the last video, as I said, so have a look at it if you don't understand why I'm doing these things, okay? Also, we need um, we need another block that is going to make the, the dinosaur jump. So, forever, if, and we will, we will do this, if any key or the screen is touched or pressed, so if key any pressed or mouse down, mouse down is the same as touching the screen if you're using a tablet or, or any other device like a mobile phone, we're gonna set y velocity to let's say 15. By the way, uh, here we have to change y velocity by negative 1 so that we go down. Don't forget that. Alright, and uh, we need another block which is re place. Let's run without screen refresh. Because this is going to, to place the, um, 
the dinosaur in the right position. So we said, re repeat until until y velocity is more than 31. Sorry, more than negative 31. We're going to uh, change here, change y by 1. And if you remember, there was a kind of vibration that was removed by doing this. When are we going to replace? We're going to replace if we are here. And let's see if this works. Okay, as you see it does. But we have double, triple jump. So to avoid that, we're only going to be able to jump if we're touching the ground. So we are in this case. Well, actually, let's put this to make sure it works. Now we can only jump once, OK? To create the effect of moving legs. So when we are on the ground, we're going to change costume. So next costume. And we're going to wait for 0 0.05 seconds. If we are jumping, we're going to switch costume to the first one, so that both legs are, are straight. Now let's put this. Okay, now it works, and when we jump, both legs are, are straight. So this is done, and now we have to create the cactus and the pterodactyl that come from the right side, and we have to, to dodge. So, let's paint. These are going to be obstacles. And look, the trick is going to be this. We're going to convert to bitmap. We're going to zoom in a lot. Let's take this tool. And let's make it smaller. Let's even zoom in some more. Uh, color is going to be gray. And let's make a cactus more or less as they are in the in the game. Now let's fill it with grey and that's done. So this is the the cactus. So what is this going to do? Well first of all as you see this is tiny so with this tool select and make it bigger. And it is too big, so like 70 or even 60. That's cool. So let's code it. When green flag clicked, we're gonna hide it. We're gonna hide the original one, all right? Uh, obviously, the clones that are gonna come from the from the right side will show. So we're gonna hide it, and forever, we're gonna be creating clones of of this sprite. Sometimes one clone, sometimes two. So that's done this way. Pick random, one to two. And we're gonna wait for um, 0 0.2 seconds. And after the creation of its, uh, of its cactus or, or of its two cactuses, we're gonna wait for one second. So when I start as a clone, they are going to go to the right to the maximum which is x 252 and more or less here they're gonna go to this position where they are now what we can yeah here and they're gonna move uh, left so we're going to change x by a negative number which will be negative 7 for example and we're going to repeat these until we're touching T-Rex. So, touching T-Rex. Or until we're touching this border. 
we could put uh, touching net, but if we put touching net, as it is touching net at the very beginning, it would stop moving at the very beginning as well. So uh, instead of um, when touching this edge, we're going to put when x position is lower than, all right? So uh, repeat until touching T-Rex or x position is lower than, and oh, let's see what number. Let's place it here to check how far it can go. Uh, negative 252, so let's put negative 251. Important, do not forget this show at the very beginning. Uh, oh well, you can put show after uh, placing it. And after this, we're gonna delete the clone. Let's see if it works. Okay. We can jump. I think they should be like here. Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay, so far so good. So now let's create more costumes. We're gonna create uh, now the pterodactyl. So same process. Uh, one pixel, gray, zoom in, and let's make it. They are more legs like this. Okay, let's color it, and that's the the pterodactyl. This is number one, and obviously we need another sprite, which is gonna be turret two. Well, but first of all, let's um, let's resize it. Oops, with this. Let's see if this is big enough. Okay, a little bit bigger. That's good. Let's center it, and now duplicate. And using this, let's take the wing and let's flip it horizontal and vertical. And let's put it here. So here we have our turn. So now uh, we have to change the code, obviously. When I start as a clone, go here, but if you are this animal, the the height so the the y position should be different should be here so here is y 47 so uh, control if if the costume is number two which is done this way if costume number is number two we're going to set uh, Y to this. All right, so when are we gonna decide the, the costume? At the very beginning. So let's create a variable, which is gonna be costume. And at the beginning, we're going to set costume to uh, the same as this, pick random from one to two. And obviously we're gonna switch costume to uh, costume. Okay, let's try. Okay. All right, it works, but they're not moving the wings. So uh, that's easy. When I start as a clone forever, and um, this is going to be a condition. If costume number is number two, which is uh, Terra one, we're gonna switch costume to costume two and wait for this time, maybe no, this time, and the opposite. 
if costume number is three, so which is remember costume number three is tar two, we switch to tar one. And now they're flying. All right, super good. And now we need a score. Well, let's hide this and this. We're gonna create our score. And the score is gonna change this way. So when green flag clicked, uh, well, obviously set score to zero. And forever change score by one and wait for 0 0.01 seconds. Obviously, when, where is it? It's here. After uh, doing this and before deleting the clone, this is here, if touching Rex, we're gonna set score to zero. Let's see if touching Rex, zero. Okay, it works. And now we're gonna create a cloud variable, which is some data that is uh, stored in the cloud and is available for every player. What is the purpose of it? The purpose is that if someone is playing and gets a super high score, that high score is gonna be saved in the cloud variable until another person gets a higher score than the, the highest score that is recorded, okay? So, let's see. I'm gonna make another variable, which is gonna be a cloud variable called highest score. And this is gonna be here. So, uh, if touching Rex, before setting score to zero, we're gonna check if, uh, Let's put this. The score that we've gotten is higher, is greater than the highest uh, score. Let's put this here. If it is, we're going to set highest score to score. Look. Well, obviously now highest score is zero. If we touch it, no, now it's 68. Let's try to make a, a better score. Now we have it, and now if we touch it, the, height, the highest score is updated, okay? So that's the game, guys. Uh, I think it's quite fun, very interesting to do. If you follow the, the steps I told you here in this video, you shouldn't have any problem to do it. And I hope you enjoyed this video as usual, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.